today I'm going to show you how to make this chalk honeycomb slice, um, which is a delicious frozen dessert that's so easy to make, like five ingredients, no baking, really quick. So I've got the ingredients assembled here. You need 250 grams of malt biscuits. I'm using these uh, malt of milk type biscuits, but any kind of just a crunchy biscuit or cookie will do. Uh, four violet crumble bars. Um, they are 50 grams each. The closest thing you might find, this is Australian, in, um, say, America would be like um, what we call angel food. So it's sort of a crunchy inside and a chocolate-covered outside kind of a thing. They're sim similar to that. Uh, the next thing you'll need is 600 mils of a thickened cream and um, condensed milk. And this is, it says about uh, 395. This is 400 grams. So that's it. Just those simple ingredients and there's no baking involved. This is going to be quick and easy. You'll need two pans. Um, these are 18, oh, well, roughly 18 by 28 centimeter lamington pans or just um, slice pans, they call them here, just for making tray biscuits or uh, bars. But you can use anything that they'll fit in. So let's get started. All right, we'll start by greasing and lining the pans. Um, you can use whatever you've got. If you've got shortening or butter or I've got some margarine, whatever works for you. I'm just going to rub that over to grease the pans. And once you've got it greased, you're just going to lay a piece of parchment or baking paper down inside of there and press that against the edges of the pan. So if that one's ready, we'll do the same to the other pan. Okay, so I've got my two pans prepared, and the next step is we're going to layer the biscuits in the bases of the pans. So that's what they look like. Kind of like a malt-flavored, um, just biscuit. I don't know if there's anything quite similar um, in the States you could use, really. A shortbread perhaps or something any kind of a biscuit like that they're like um, sweet sort of biscuits I've got mine laid in there now these pans are just a little bit bigger than what it called for in the recipe and also different types of biscuits come in different shapes and sizes so I found that I needed actually half of a second package to finish the job here so depending on the size of your pans and the type of biscuits you use you may need a little bit more as well um, and another thing is that you might find as an adequate substitute say in the States is something like graham crackers so the next step is I'm going to whip the thickened cream, which I've got 600 mils here. Now that would be about, or just a little bit more than 20 ounces in the States, and you would use a whip, whipping cream there. Pour that in. So we're just going to whip that until firm peaks form. So this is about the texture you want so that you've got, see how it clings to there, and when I pull it out, it forms peaks that stay in their shape. That's what we're after. So now that we've got that, the next step is to add our condensed milk and beat it again. So I've got the sweetened condensed milk in there and we're just going to whip it again until it gets nice and firm. You can see that's pretty firm. It holds its shape if I push it up like that. It almost feels like a soft serve ice cream. Let's set that aside. So this is the Violet Crumble Bar, for those who haven't got them. They refer to it as honeycomb here. And as you can see, it's similar to what we call an angel food in the States. So I'm just using a small food processor to do this, but if you'd rather put it in a bag and crush it with a rolling pin or something else, whatever works. You don't want it too fine. As you can see, I've got some bigger, slightly bigger chunks, but that's about the texture we're after. left with one or two bigger chunks that aren't enough to run that again this honeycomb or angel food texture is really pretty easy to break apart so you should be able to just break it into smaller chunks and sort of squish it with your fingers okay so I've crushed three of the bars we're going to save this one for the end we're going to just sprinkle those in there and fold them through the cream mixture as you can see I've got it nice and evenly mixed in there the next step is going to be to divide this evenly among your two pans. Okay, so I've evenly divided it among the two pans. I'm just going to spread it out now, carefully not to disturb the biscuits. Okay, so you can see I've got that evenly spread out in both pans. The last step is to crush that final chocolate bar and we're going to sprinkle it on top. Okay, so the last bar has been crushed here. And I'm trying not to have too many bigger pieces, but that should be all right. We're just going to lightly sprinkle that over the top. If you 
get any bigger pieces, just give them a crush. It's not too hard to crush these. Okay, so that's it. You can see it's all evenly divided. All we have to do now is cover them and put them in the freezer overnight until they're set. Okay, so I've put a piece of plastic cling wrap around both directions just to sort of help keep it firmly on there. And I'm gonna to need to stack these in the freezer so I don't want it one crushing the other. You can use pretty much anything that you can just set across that top one um, so that when you stack the second one in the freezer with it, it doesn't sink in. So pop those in and leave them to set overnight. Okay, so we're gonna pull these out of the freezer. They've been in overnight. Okay, so we've got this out of the freezer. It's definitely frozen solid. We'll see if we can cut through it. I'm using a plastic knife just because I don't want to scratch my pan, but if you want to let it soften for just a few minutes to make this easier, that's fine too. Make sure you cut through all the way through the cookie base on the bottom. Have to piece out so you can see how they look. So there you have it, the finished piece. They're kind of like an ice cream with two different kinds of crunchy bits in them because the cookie base, it, it doesn't actually get soft as I thought it might at some it's crunchy, so you've got the crunchiness of the cookie base as well as the bits of the chocolate uh, candy inside. And I have it on authority for my husband. It's awesome. Give it a try.